Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic, your research and destruction channel, and today we are doing both of those. We are super excited about today's video. Oh, this is taking a while to put together, but we finally got everything. So what we want to do today is we got this really cool EOD blast shield from Eon Fox. Check them out. They have all kinds of cool stuff, prepping, gear. They had these blast shields. And um, we got this from them because what we wanted to do was test shrapnel. A lot of people get these blast shields and they shoot them to see what rounds they'll stop. But we want to go a little different, like always, and do actual shrapnel and a blast test. So Ballistic Dummies hooked us up with this beautiful new bust that they make, has the shoulder bones and everything in it. It is, an, as always, an awesome piece. Anything ballistic, check these guys out. They got it. We got our cool um, custom painted helmet here. My friend Tom Stack painted up my uh, M88 helmet here that I used to wear in Iraq and Afghanistan. Actually had a colonel take a picture of it and say he wished they could have stuff like this. But what we're going to do is ricochets and stuff like that to simulate shrapnel. We have our piece of titanium. If you remember this video here, Sack and Metal sent us two one-inch plates and we shot them together with the 50 BMG. That was awesome. This is going to be our shield for hitting the ricochets. So what we're going to do first is we're going to shoot, yes, the 50 BMG blue tip round, which makes a nice boom. See what that will actually do if anything penetrates. Then we got the Thompson here. We're going to shoot like 15 rounds. We're just going to chooch it at the plate and see what the shrapnel does to this. And then last, yes, we are going to hit it with the M67 grenade. That ought to be a lot of fun. Now, real quick on this helmet, this is the TAC. 450, which stands, the 450, they rate these, correct me if I'm wrong to any of you EOD bomb tech, in uh, meters per second. So that's 450 meters per second. I'm assuming it'll stop, which that translates into 1,476 feet per second or 1,006 miles an hour shrapnel coming at you. Again, EOD people, super smart people, if I'm wrong about that, please comment uh, down below because I couldn't find a lot of information on why they rate these things in meters per second. But this is what we got for you. Let's take a closer look. Here we go, folks. All right, so first round up for our shrapnel test is this 50 BMG blue tip. And check this one out. All right, this beautiful polished and laser engraved brass that we will be giving away to the most creative or funniest comment. So have at it, we'll pick one, and then we'll send it out to you. So we're just kind of guessing with the angles here. Hopefully we get the optimal spalling shrapnel capabilities. Ready? Let's hold right about there and see what happens. Jeez, that was loud. That was a good flash. Let's check that one out. <laughs> Gotta make sure we save this brass for a lucky commenter. Oh man, that did a lot more damage than I thought. But then again, that round is going way over 1400 feet per second. We tilted this thing 
just to ensure this is where Justin hit right where we wanted under his little Moab symbol. Perfect shot and I, I honestly did not think it was gonna blow off the outer shield so quick. But hey, it's research and destruction, right? So we're living up to our name. It's, it's really good that we tested it with this ballistic dummy lab's head because I was gonna tell Justin just to stick his head there and you know try it and he'd be fine, but he wouldn't. Cause check this out. <sighs> so here's the damage. Now normally you would, I would assume, uh, you would have a chest protection and stuff like this, but he actually took some shrapnel in the shoulder. Now let's get this out of the way. There we go. Took one right in the neck. Here's actually a piece of the jacket. Ooh, man. Did that go through the shield? You can see the well, it might have gone through the shield because right here, um, there is a hole in it. Now, the double shield was up here. This one hit down here. So, I'm not sure. The high speed was cool. <clears throat> oh, man. That would, that would not feel good. And he took some in the shoulder. So, <laughs> that was cool. Sweet. <laughs> that was a good test. Like that first one. Um, what? A beautiful explosion. Now just to show you guys we we had to wire the back of the helmet down because um, it was it's so much weight this helmet everything together weighs about seven pounds so you can imagine that boy bad boy on your head um, and an ex and, and a blast going man the whiplash I don't know I'd love to hear from you EOD guys or gals and a shout out to you for what you guys, this is insane. You guys have the biggest apple bags in the world to wanna go, hey, yeah, I'll go defuse a bomb. Just incredible. Thank you guys and gals for what you guys do for our country. So on to the next one we're gonna do, well, I don't know, let's surprise them, Justin. Here we go. All right, so we had to change angles a little bit with the 308 slap just so we make sure the, the slap doesn't penetrate. Well, that's what it's made to do, is to penetrate. So we wanted to give it a little bit of a steeper angle. So I kind of changed it up. Hopefully it'll deflect shrapnel through the face shield and into the face. All right, here we go. I can just, the accuracy of these is a little hit or miss. Well, definitely hit. Let's see if it uh, penetrated that face shield. Man, that thing hit hard. We probably should have got at a better angle. Um, the groove in this titanium that that 308 slap left is amazing. That thing is at least a quarter inch to a half inch deep. Now, it did come off. The sparks was beautiful between that tungsten and titanium mix. And we're assuming the shield held up because, well, we can't really find anything. We don't know if the angle was too much. We know some hit, but there, there's a few pieces in here you can feel. And I don't know. We'll never know on that test, but definitely you had shrapnel going towards your face. So, all right, now it's time to chooch it with 15 rounds. Let's do it. All right, now we're gonna do the Thompson. We got 15 rounds of 45. It's gonna be the IED that just keeps on giving. We'll put up a blast shield this time because uh, one of our previous videos that caught some shrapnel on the forehead and I don't want to do that again. Didn't feel all that great. 
bracing this thing is a little awkward. All right, let's make it rain. <laughs> Most of them got on target, not all of them, but. Ow! What the hell was that? That came out of nowhere. That one went down and hit my thumb really hard. I'm gonna find it. Well, we got a little bit of bleeding here. So, <laughs> check this out. A piece of the casing <laughs> stuck right there on the rivet. That's cool. Oh, geez. There's yeah. On forehead. So, what? And look, even up here on the helmet. So Tack's gonna have to come up with a better latching system because as soon as this thing got hit, uh, it came down. Now, it took all the shrapnel just fine on this. You can see all the different hits on the plastic here. That was no problem. But yeah, look, it's, it's all, when you put up in the light here, you, you can see all the hits from it. From the shrapnel hitting it but the ied that keeps on giving knocks that shield down i don't know if there's supposed to be a lock piece or something over here that maybe keeps it in but uh yeah he, he took a little uh a little in the forehead in the cheekbone here a nice piece just kind of right in the eyeball yeah that one's a little split there see if you can just shove a finger in his eye like that <laughs> All right. Can you pop the helmet up? Yeah. Later. I can pop the helmet off. Let's take this off and see if we can get a better look up underneath this thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't. It's, it's, um, there we go. Ooh, split. Well, there you go. All right. On to the one everybody's been waiting for. I wonder if we should just leave the face shield up, Justin. I don't know, it would cause more shrapnel if we left it down. This is true. It'll be like a uh, Mary Poppins umbrella just carrying his head off. All right, down it is. Last shot, here we go. All right, so now it's time for the M67 grenade. This is the older one. It doesn't have the confidence clip where you have to twist and pull, but it does have this safety retainer right here. So what you need to do, sweep this bad boy out of the way and you're going to pull the pin and now nothing will activate until i throw it or release the spoon or cooking it off so i'm going to set this down next to the ballistic skull and, and see what happens to it this is sketchy <laughs> you ready Oh, jeez. Well, that did not work at all like we thought it would. So we set it here on the wood, but as you guys saw in the high speed, it just, the energy went straight down through the board and up. I mean, some did hit the, the front, but hardly anything. I mean, there's a couple little pieces of shrapnel and stuff in here. Well, he's bleeding from his job, but check this out. <laughs> He's getting jarred around too much. His uh, the weight. This is what Justin and I did to try to.
hold his head up a little more. I mean, he still took a punishment. But if we got a surprise for you, aren't you glad you stuck around? We're gonna hit it with one more thing. A can of bang. The rainbow unicorn. The most powerful thing on earth. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we've had that can of bang and the paint shaker for about the last hour or so. That should be enough. And then we'll uh, finish off the chemical reaction with a little bit of 308. That did it. Oh, there's a piece of something right here. Ow. Is that skull? Well, that definitely blew his muffin cap back blue. Well, the wire held up. We put that thing right under the visor. Oh, my helmet still held up. Not bad. A couple new pads in it and she'd be good as gold. The frame, however, to our uh, blast mask, which we thank again, Eon Fox, for hooking us up with that blast mask, and Ballistic Dummy Labs for giving us this awesome head. Man, I'm surprised it didn't blow his whole head off. It sheared his skin and stuff right here. Um, took a little of his skin off on there. That's it. He did good. He did good. These things are tough, man. Well, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, there's a new tab under the video. It says thanks. Um, we could use your guys' extra help with uh, the channel. You can give whatever amount you want, and that helps us buy these $400 masks and $400 heads um, for your viewing enjoyment. If not, we are just thankful that you guys watch our videos and support our channel. We are very blessed to have all of you. But shout out to our patrons. Shout out to Ballistic Dummy Labs, Eon Fox. Check them out if you need some stuff. Check them out if you need anything from hands to full bodies. Thank you all for watching and we'll be back.